Hey, it's Steve. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Scenic Express Super Tree Starter Kit and build some trees. Okay, so this is the box you get. This is the N scale version. The HS scale version is the same uh, kit exactly. The only difference is that you get um, different size armatures for the, uh, for the trees. And so we'll go ahead and open this up and take a look at what you get. So this is the inside of the kit. This is the uh, super tree material here. There is, you know, smaller pieces here for the N scale kit. If you get the HO scale one, you're gonna see pieces that are larger like this. This is just a box of super tree material that I picked up as well. It's called sea foam and other things in different places as well. But these are the armatures that you're, you're gonna use to build your trees. And again, the HO scale ones, they give you these ones that look like big trees. And for the N scale ones, they're basically smaller, smaller pieces. So that's really the only difference. Of course, you get some advertising material as well as some basic instructions here on the back side. You get some concentrated matte medium. You can use other matte medium as well. You don't have to use this, but um, this will get you pretty far because you're going to mix this with water and dilute it down quite a bit. And so this will last you quite a while. You get a spray bottle that you can put the matte medium mix inside of and then spray your tree armatures with. Obviously you can use this for other scenery work on your layout or diorama that you're building as well. We get two large containers of tree flock. Um, you get a dark green and sort of a medium green color. And then you get a whole variety of other flocking materials. You also get a couple pairs of tweezers, which are very handy to have for general use. Uh, one is the angle tip, one is a straight tip. I have a whole bunch of these. I like these tweezers a lot for just doing, you know, work in general and modeling and picking up detail parts and that kind of thing. So really handy to have these. This is a container you can use for applying your flocking material. You can really hold your tree that you're putting the flock on over this bin and then put, you know, sprinkle your flock on. Um, and then you can use this to capture the excess so you don't waste it. And again, you get different types of flocking material, you know, so you can do fall or, you know, more bright green spring colors, some darker colors for like conifers if you're trying to do that, you know, some again for fall or maybe you want to represent uh, like a blooming tree, that kind of thing. Uh, this is the leaf flock material, which basically looks like little scale leaves, which is really nice. And I have a bunch of other flocking material that I've used as well. I've used this leaf flock before. And so you can obviously use whatever different colors you want, but this is kind of like a sample to get you started and see which colors you might like best and might want to buy more of for doing your trees. We'll take a look at this material. So this is basically the material that you're gonna be working with. So we'll go through the steps here in a little bit to uh, actually make these trees. Uh, the first step though is just gonna go through, I'm gonna go through and pick off all of these different little leaves on a whole bunch of these armatures before we progress. Uh, one thing you can do if you're just making a, you know, an interior forest and you can go through and just cover this with glue directly, put on your flocking material and you're not really going to see the trunk or anything, you know, on the interior part of a forest and you can pretty much just go ahead and do that. But if you are going to be, you know, having these more individual or, you know, towards the front of a forest scene, you're probably gonna wanna go ahead and make sure you paint this first and get it a realistic color since it's kind of like a yellowish sort of color initially and not really realistic for a tree trunk. So you do wanna go ahead and make sure you do your painting before you do any of your flocking. If you are gonna be having a scene where you can see the trunks of these trees. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, get all these set up, get the leaves pulled off, and then we'll go ahead and paint these first before we go ahead and do the final work on the tree. So once I had the tree armatures ready to go, I took the cardboard box that the kit was actually shipped in and taped up the flaps of the box and used the holes in the corrugation of the cardboard as holders for the tree armatures. For painting the trees, I use Rust-Oleum Camouflage Brown Spray Paint, which is what I have on hand. And it's sort of a, at least a reasonable tree color uh, for the armatures. And so I sprayed everything with that to give it a more natural color. And then let it dry a few hours to make sure it was good and dry before I went ahead and actually soaked it in the glue. So I didn't want any of the paint to start coming off from the glue itself. And so while that paint was drying, I mixed up the matte medium that came with the kit. I just used a paper cup, filled out the paper cup with the matte medium, poured it into a storage container, 
And then I just filled up the paper cup seven more times with water, put that in there to make the proper ratio of a diluted matte medium. Then I did the same exact thing and filled up the spray bottle that came with the kit so I could use that as well for spraying down the tree armatures uh, during the flocking process. So once the paint had dried several hours, I put everything into the mix of matte medium, let it soak there for several minutes before it was time to put on the actual flocking material. So flocking the trees is pretty simple. Just take the glue soaked tree armature out of the uh, you know bin of glue that you have and soaking in and then just sprinkle on a nice thick layer of whatever ground foam you're wanting to use. So for this first tree, I covered everything with a medium green ground foam that came in one of the larger containers, then took the spray bottle, sprayed it back down a little bit to get another layer of glue on top of that, and sprinkled on some of the leaf flake on top of the ground foam. So you can see here what that looks like once all the flocking material is applied to the tree, and you get a very natural looking tree structure with both the ground foam and the flocking on top of the tree. And also the flocking is a little bit lighter in color, which kind of adds some highlights uh, to the tree itself. And then I just took a clothespin and clipped it to the same box I've been using to let it hang there for a while and dry. And then I did the same process for all the remaining tree armatures using some different shades of color uh, for some of the trees and some of the you know, different ratios of leaf flock to the, the ground foam and so forth just to get a little bit of variety, but everything was kept pretty close to the same colors because in a natural forest you don't usually see a lot of huge variation in color amongst the various trees. And so once I had all those trees covered in flocking material, I took the spray bottle and sprayed them down good with some over the mat medium to help really seal on all the flocking. Installation of these trees is very straightforward. If you're using, you know, a uh, sculpt mold or foam type of base, you can just take a screwdriver, poke a hole uh, wherever you want the tree trunk to be, and then put some glue either in the hole and or on the tree trunk itself, and you know, put it in the hole, and you're pretty much ready to go. So these can plant very quickly. If you have a wood base, obviously you're gonna have to drill holes, which is gonna take a little bit longer. But overall, uh, still a very straightforward process to plant all these trees. So for this little 17 by 30 inch layout that I'm building, I took all the trees that I made and just placed them in different areas around the layout. Now, one thing to keep in mind is all those little pieces of, of branches that you might break off when you're making them make great, make great small trees. And so I used all those little scraps as well in various areas around this layout. I also wanted to make a small pot of tree to go in front of the hotel structure on the layout. And so I actually took a roof fence, uh, sanded, sanded the bottom of that, uh, flat and then the size to kind of scuff them up a little bit so it looks a little bit more like concrete uh, instead of plastic and then I just filled that with some glue put some dirt in there and then I put one of the small tree branches and a little bit of ground foam on the bottom and you can see here what that looked like a nice little pot of tree that I can place on the sidewalk in front of the hotel so I used all the remaining trees and tree pieces and got the rest of the layout planted and you can see here the final product, what these trees look like once they were in place on the layout. So again, these are really, really nice looking trees. They're very easy to build. So certainly if you're looking for you know, deciduous trees for your layout, these are probably the best way to go for you know, overall quality of how they look as well as cost. And so certainly this is a great way to go if you're looking for some realistic trees for your layout. Anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.